Welcome to Fabulous Foods Lobster Pot, July 4th Lobster Pot Bake Off. So we're going to teach you today how to do lobster pots fabulous food style. Put some water in the buckets. White wine, can you put uh, one bottle in each? A nice dry white wine is good for this. Let's have a little bit of uh, parsley. So we're gonna do some chopped parsley. One more for George's bucket there. A little chopped parsley, George. Uh, salt. A little pepper. Not too much on the pepper. Uh, chopped garlic. Garlic, uh, we love garlic, so we do a little extra. We do one whole one for that. Just to get some nice flavor going on. And uh, a little crushed red pepper. That's just to give a little spice, a little kick, something nice. Grandma won't mind. Now we got a great flavor, ready to steam these little babies over here. This is a uh, lobster pot. We're gonna cook everything at once. Very simple for a barbecue. First, we're gonna put some onions in. Again, just for flavor. So we're just gonna kinda sink that into the water. Let me have a little seaweed. Now the seaweed we're gonna put as a liner on the bottom just so if anybody overcooks with the heat, we don't burn the lobster. We wanna steam those babies perfect. So we're just gonna create a base just to line the pots. Lobster, George, would you mind doing us the honor? We want to try to get, uh, you know, you go head down and you want to try to just put maybe uh, three per, uh, per pot. Okay. Let's do the potatoes. Now I want to use a, like a, a nice uh, tri-colored potato. Um, you can get blues too, we didn't get them, but you can get blues and you can do a tri-colored potato. Cook these about 50% before, that's the only preparation, cook them 50% before you put them in a pot. So let's do a line of those. And uh, Chris, we're gonna do the corn next. Now the corn we just peeled, uh, you know, the husk away, and we're just gonna kinda line the corn in. So you got lobsters, seaweed lobsters, potato and corn so far. Now we're, we're gonna do this, it's a shrimp and scallop uh, scampi. So what we're gonna do is uh, have a little fun and just kind of do these little purses that have a nice scampi sauce with it. A little butter, garlic, salt, um, touch of olive oil, like a scampi sauce. Um, and what we're gonna do is put those in here so that they steam. So that when you have your dinner, you can give one package per person as opposed to them getting all lost in the bottom of the sauce. Let's just put a nice line of clams there. You know, depending on how many people you're feeding, you could determine how much food. So uh, we're actually making these for seven hungry, seven or eight hungry people. So we're gonna do uh, 10 or 15 clams on each. And now let's do the shrimps. Shrimps we're gonna do last, all right? So that they steam last. You know, you wanna try to layer this the way we're layering it because it, uh, each one needs a little more cooking, a little less cooking, so that's what we're gonna do. These we're gonna kinda spread out a little bit so they're not on top of each other. Put the lobsters out and all your other seafood and corn and potatoes and make pretty plates. 
and then get a little drawn butter, warm butter, and also get maybe a little spicy butter, maybe with cayenne pepper, and let your guests do what they want. You could also get a combination of different sea salts and have some fun. And don't forget the beer and the wine uh, that goes along with it.